Cyber City 08808 is a cyberpunk miniseries following three prisoners with upwards of 300 year sentences who are given a second chance by becoming police officers and reducing their sentence each time they arrest or eliminate a criminal. If you're wondering what keeps them honest, they were these collars that explode if you try to remove them or if you fail to complete the task within the allotted time. Plus, they're given a robot companion who will stay out of their way and let them do their jobs without being nagged. Right. I must inform you that what you are intending to do constitutes illegal entry. Look, just fuck off, will you? Fuck off. This is a phrase you frequently use erroneously. The colloquial word fuck meaning to copulate. These criminals are tasked with hunting down dangerous hackers, genetically mutated vampires, and superpowered psychic androids. But in order to get out alive, they'll have to put their differences aside and become an unstoppable unified force. Planted on one of the power lines. Fuck that. You can do it yourself. I'm gonna take a nap. Or maybe they're going their own way and occasionally interacting with each other, which is probably for the best. I loved how Cyber City was set in the future but feels dirty, retro, and gritty. Everything here encapsulates the aesthetic of Western's 80s sci-fi action movies, including the cheesy one-liners. Just love roast pork! <laughs> Don't try it. If it's not cooked properly, I hear pig can give you the shit! <laughs> Your friend seems to be losing his grip. The voice actors took a few liberties with the script, but in my opinion, this enhances the overall experience. I am arresting you for a whole host of shit I can't be bothered to list. You have the right to remain silent and so on. Its action was another high point. People jumping out of cars midair, fighting on collapsing towers, and even this dude who reminds me of Ray from Fist of the North Star, how he slices everything up with his razor wire. The character designs were stylistically consistent with other old school madhouse anime similar to Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust, Goku Midnight Eye, and Wicked City. This might just be me, but does Goggles over here look like Bebop from Ninja Turtles? Cyber City sported a brutalist approach to vehicles and architecture by focusing on function instead of form. Little in this anime appeared to be created for the sake of beauty, aside from maybe one woman. Rather, the vehicles were squared or featured sharp angles, which contrast the typical seamless approach most sci-fi art styles have. While it's clear they tried to remain down to earth in terms of their grit, some buildings were exaggerated beyond measure, such as the space scraper in episode 1 or the space elevator in episode 3. Although this anime original is only three episodes long, I was left feeling like there could have been much more considering its episodic nature. However, I enjoyed each episode as if they were short movies. Each each had its own unique threat, the action was always fulfilling, and the cheesy one-liners never stopped coming. You wouldn't recognize a goddamn vampire if one jumped up and bit you on the end of your fucking dick. Overall, I enjoyed Cyber City 080808, and I recommend it to everyone who found this video entertaining. I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Although it was enjoyable in every aspect, it wasn't the best I've seen from Studio Madhouse from this era or of the genre. Still, it presents a unique experience that you're unlikely to find in other anime, especially if you grew up on old sci-fi B-movies back in the 80s or 90s. If you're looking for other dark Madhouse OVAs, I recommend my review of Bride of Deimos. It's easily one of the most over-engineered anime from its era, but nobody knows about it because it never saw the light of day beyond its VHS release. I've covered many Madhouse anime over the years, and I'm recommending this one for a reason. Check out my review. If you decide to check out Cyber City, come back and tell me what you think. If you enjoyed the review, hit the like button and share with a friend with a taste for 80s sci-fi action flicks. I'll see you tomorrow with my review of Megalobox, the entire series. See you then.